want to make sure that this never happens to you again, then you've come to the right place. Hey guys, it's Jonathan and welcome to Swift Bampton School. Today we're talking about the backhand low serve. In doubles, the serve is the most important part of your game. It doesn't matter how good at Bampton you are, if you start off the rally with a weak serve, you'll be smashed in the face with tons of cock. Shuttlecock. And God forbid you do a forehand low serve. We're primarily talking about the low serve in doubles, since I think that's going to be more relevant to most of you. As I'm sure you know, badminton doubles is all about attacking play, so it's really important that we start off the rally by fighting for the attack. The perfect low serve just barely grazes the net and lands perfectly on the service line. So in this video, I want to talk about one weird hack that Kai Yun, one of the greatest men's doubles player of all time, uses to perform a perfect serve. I personally also use it and teach it to all of my students. Implementing these changes will make such a huge difference to your serve, but since the serve is such a small movement, when you study these pro players, you might not have noticed what they're doing. So that's why I'm making this video today. I want to reveal it directly to you. The first thing is where you hold the racket from. Unlike every other shot in badminton, I don't want you to hold it by the handle. Instead, move your grip up to this triangular part of the racket. This is really important because it essentially changes the lever length of the racket, making it much easier to control the racket head. Try it out and you'll feel a huge difference with how much easier it is to be precise in your movement. The next piece of advice is also different from standard badminton advice. The sweet spot of the racket is in the middle of the frame and this is generally where you want to hit the shuttle from since you'll generate the most power. It's essentially where the strings have the most energy. However, you shouldn't low serve from here. Low serving from the sweet spot results in the shuttle bouncing off the racket unpredictably because there's just so much energy and randomness involved. In the low serve, we need consistency, so it's better to change the contact point to a more predictable part of the racket. By changing the contact point to the bit next to the racket head, we make sure each serve has a more consistent feel. The strings here have less energy overall, so less randomness is going to be involved. Typically, the trade-off would be power, but of course, this is irrelevant for the low serve, unless for some reason you struggle to serve from here to here, in which case badminton probably just isn't the sport for you. These are two hacks that might not be immediately obvious to you, but try them out and you'll feel a huge difference in how you serve. The key to consistently playing a perfect backhand serve is simple. No, it's literally simple. Let me explain. Unlike some shots in badminton, the serve is a very delicate and precise shot. If you're just a few centimeters off, your opponent's gonna be able to kill it. Because of this, we want our stroke to be as small and simple as possible. Not only is this going to give you more control of your serve, it will also make your serve more consistent. You will have a formula you can repeat each and every time. Now let's cover the serve as a whole. Every decision we make is done with the intention of making the serve as simple and as small of a movement as possible. So the stroke. You should be using a standard backhand grip with your thumb against the flat side of the racket. The movement should be very small, contained entirely within the fingers and the wrist. With the shoulder and elbow locked into place, bring the racket head back and then gently push forward through the thumb. It's a mistake to over-exaggerate this movement. Sometimes you'll see players using their whole arm, but with such a large movement, how are you going to remain consistent? You can't. You'll crumble under pressure in a game, and this is why you make service mistakes when you're nervous. By contrast, the simplicity of the smaller movement is much easier to replicate. No matter how intimidating the opponent looks, you'll be able to play the perfect serve over and over again. An overlooked factor is how you hold the shuttle. Yes, it really matters. For a backhand low serve, it's a mistake to hold the racket by the cork. Your hand is in the way here, so the only way to hit it is to throw it in the air and then strike it. With how many times I've mentioned consistency, I'm sure you realize why I hate this. Instead, grip the shuttle by the tip of the feathers. This way, when you serve, your hand is out of the way, so you don't have to release the shuttle until you actually hit it. And that's just one less variable to worry about. The optimal low serve travels as short of a distance as possible, not only for consistency, but it's also going to be harder for your opponents to attack. As a result, you want to stand as close to the service line as possible. You also want your serve to be as straight as possible, so stand right in the middle and aim for the shuttle to land in this area. Of course, mix-ups are fine too, but this video is only covering the standard backhand low serve which is what you should be using 90% of the time. To achieve this goal, you want to reach out with your serve. Notice how much closer I am to the net over here compared to over here. I see a lot of beginners serve with this very cramped up style, but you want to avoid this. Reach out as far as you comfortably can. To extend your reach even further, lead onto the front foot. The back foot has to stay on the ground, but there's nothing stopping you from going onto your toes. I personally prefer to serve with my right foot forwards, but it's also okay to serve with your feet side by side. So when you take all of these things, put them together, you'll be able to take your serve to the next level. With the one caveat being you have to practice. It's no good having a consistent serve if it's <laughs> consistently bad. So grab a bunch of shuttles and just spend some time on your own grinding out serves. Admittedly, it's not the most fun thing in the world, but once you get that perfect serve that just grazes the net, 
you'll be able to repeat it again and again since we've simplified the movement so much. This technique is very repeatable on a micro level, so no matter how much pressure you're under, no matter how important the game is, you'll be able to hit that perfect serve that you've mastered in training. I hope this video helped and I wanted to give a shout out to my Patreon supporter Jordan for suggesting this video. If you want to sign up for exclusive perks and support the channel, head on over to the Swift Bamba Patreon page right here. If not, subscribe to the channel with the button right here and then click over here to watch another video by me. Thanks for watching guys.